Hello everyone, I'm Vanessa and today I'm here to do a library haul. So before I get into the library haul, I do want to mention that I'm having a ton of fun over on my Sims channel. If you guys didn't know about that, I started a Sims channel and I am playing video games over there. And like I said, I'm just having a ton of fun. If you're into The Sims or video game Let's Plays or anything like that, I would love it if you checked it out. Um, I will leave the link in the description box below. Yeah, let's go ahead and talk about some library books. So I have a lot, like a lot of library books checked out right now because I have no self-control when I'm at work. So I thought that I would do a library haul to show you guys what I picked up. Some of them I already mentioned in my July TBR, so I won't go too in-depth into these. But first of all, I got these two children's books. This one Hilda and the Troll is a graphic novel about just this girl. It kind of has like Adventure Time vibes to me. And then Princess Puffybottom. This is my new favorite book, five stars. Um, it is about Princess Puffybottom who is used to being the only pet, the princess of the house, until her moms, who are two queer women of color, might I add, bring home a puppy named Daryl and she has to get used to living with a dog. I also picked up spell work for self-care even though I don't do a lot of spell work myself. I just, I thought it would be interesting. The first four books in the Wayward Children series, I haven't read these yet and so when I saw that they were all on the shelf at the same time, I had to take that opportunity. I also picked up As I Descended by Robin Talley and this is a Macbeth retelling and I've never read Macbeth but I really need to. I'm hoping to get to it this month so that I can read this but all I know about this retelling is that it has first of all a beautiful cover and then second of all the main characters one of them is lesbian and one of them is bi so we are here for that. Then I also grabbed Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi and this is about two people who I think are um, mostly forming a relationship and communicating via text and I have heard mixed things. I've heard a lot of kind of disappointed reviews about this book but I couldn't resist because the cover is just too pretty for me. So those were all the books that I already talked about in my July TBR but then I also picked up more. Um, I actually bought a TBR card to hold all of my library books. So the first one I picked up, I've been hearing so many good things about this, is Pet by Akwake Amazie. I'm not entirely sure what this book is really about. The synopsis um, talks about monsters and how, you know, the kids are taught that there are no monsters anymore, but there actually are. And one of the lines in the synopsis says, how do you save the world from monsters if no one will admit they exist? So I'm just really excited. Like I said, so many people have just been talking about loving this book, so I cannot wait to read it. I also picked up These Witches Don't Burn just because it was on the shelf and I haven't read it yet. And this is obviously about witches and teenage stuff. And the synopsis, it says it is equal parts sweet romance and thrilling mystery. And it looks looks like the romance is female female so I hope it's good again I feel like I've heard mixed reviews but I still want to give it a shot and then I also saw and had to pick up The Kingdom by Jess Rothenberg this is about a theme park like a super immersive fantasy theme park and it is run by androids and our main character is one of the androids but she starts having um, feelings that she's not programmed to have and I guess she falls in love and then the guy she's in love with ends up murdered and then she's like on trial as a suspect. So it sounds really good. I just started watching Westworld in quarantine and I freaking loved it and this sounds like a YA fantasy version of Westworld so I'm really excited. I also picked up The Grace Year which I have been seeing everywhere but I have not had a chance to read yet. From what I understand it's like a really dystopian like really misogynistic kind of situation where girls are sent away when they turn 16 so that they can go disperse their like evil feminine wiles right when they're 16 and then come back and be more like pure good like housewife material or whatever I don't know I don't know but I'm really excited to read it some other YA I picked out I got Ramona Blue just because I feel like I'm the last person on booktube who hasn't read this yet and I really need to and The Black Coats by Colleen Oaks I've been really looking forward to this it is about a group I guess kind of like a secret society of people that enact revenge upon people who have harmed women and girls. Then I also picked up a romance, um, Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker. This is about a girl who is from a city, I want to say? Toronto, yeah. So she's from Toronto and she ends up moving to this kind of more 
rural, really like small town in Alaska and she has to adapt to that and I'm sure along the way she falls in love and that just sounds really good because like, I mean, who doesn't want to fall in love amidst a beautiful forest town in Alaska? Just saying. And then I also got some mysteries. The first one is The Missing Year by Lexi Elliott, which I will admit I had not heard of, but I really liked the cover. Um, we love a neon block letter. And this is about a woman who inherits half a house in the Scottish Highlands from her mother's estate, I guess, and the other half belongs to a man who disappeared without a trace 27 years ago, her father. This just sounds really intriguing. And also, I Was Anastasia. This book has been on my TBR for so long. If you're not aware, um, I have kind of a thing for Anastasia, and this book follows Anna Anderson, who is one of the women who was claiming to be Anastasia in the years after the death of the Romanov family. Um, she was claiming, you know, that she had escaped and that she was actually Anastasia. And she, I mean, she spent her whole life claiming this until she died, and even after she died, her husband continued to defend her and defend her claims. So I don't know. I think it's really interesting. I also picked up She Would Be King by Wayatu Moore, and this says it is a blend of historical fiction and magical realism. It looks like it follows three people. One of them is a girl who was born in a West African village and is cursed and exiled on suspicion of being a witch. The second person is a slave on a plantation in Virginia who has to hide his unusual strength until a confrontation with the overseer forces him to flee. And then the third person is the child of a white British colonizer and a Marine slave in Jamaica who can fade from sight at will just like his mother could. I don't think I've heard much about this but I have been seeing it on the shelf at work all the time and a few months ago I just I read the description and I just really wanted to check it out so I finally did. And then the last book I have checked out is called Glass Town: The Imaginary World of the Brontes. I did a whole report on Emily Bronte for one of my English classes because I just I love her poetry so much. One of the things that I learned about when I did my report was her childhood with her siblings. You know, her and all her sisters are writers, and when they were little kids they actually had this whole made-up world that they all created together, like as a group, and it was called Glass Town. And this book apparently, it's a graphic novel, and it is about that. So I cannot wait to read this. So those are all of the things that I have checked out from my library currently. I'm sure I will check out many more before I even get around to reading a half of these. But that is all I have for now for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments if you have read any of these books and what you think about them and if there are any that you think I should prioritize. And other than that, thank you again for watching and I really hope I get to talk to you soon. Bye!